Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It's July the 1st, 2017. It's 175 degrees outside and the humidity is over 200%. It's hot, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And this is Frankenstein. It's alive, it's alive. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's the White House and the remodeling is underway. That is a 2017 Dodge Ram pickup with a Lear 180 camper top on it. And Rusty, the non-carpenter, is building his bed and shelf and other stuff as we speak. This is the rough diamond. I mean rough. I've got my solar out over here, my Zamp suitcase solar charging my 110 or 120 amp AGM battery. And I've got my fan on inside the White House. I call it the White House because it's white, okay? And it is my camper top on my pickup that I go camping in. I was gone for about five weeks. And now I'm back and I'm doing some remodeling because there were some things that needed to be adjusted. And this is it. Okay, this is the seed. Okay, this is just the seed. Okay, the beginning. Notice that there's nothing in there that would indicate a carpenter had been involved because none has. I wouldn't want to defame the name of carpenterism by claiming to be one. So what that is, is I had, a, I had the plywood cut at... Lowe's at no charge. I had the, the two, two by six cut to 10 inch lengths at no charge, but I had to buy the lumber, of course. And now I have getting it set up. Or none of that's nailed, okay? None of it's fixed in place. So what I'm doing right now, I'm polishing the diamond. What I'm doing is actually setting it up like I might be fixing to leave, and then I'll sleep on it overnight, and then we'll see what happens. But let me go inside this luxurious outfit. Notice the step good step rubber made step two step ladder nice nice oh this is going to be improved too i'm going to get a heavier duty pad and that's coming soon everything's coming soon frankenstein it's alive ah! anyway it is but as you can see underneath i've got my bathing app stuff there my bucket for heating water and to the left of it is the three-legged toilet and then of course there's a file drawer there which will hold a lot of stuff and then this right here is a file drawer too, and it will hold a lot of stuff. And that's going to be my kitchen, okay? Or it's going to hold all my utensils, which is, I have a knife, fork, spoon, and a can opener, and that's about it. And maybe a few items to eat. But anyway, so we're going to go with two of those shelves. And the good thing about it, they just they slide real easy on this carpet, even when they've got stuff in them, because I've got stuff in that other one. And the good thing about this one is you can access it from the back. Nah, 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 nah. The refrigerator may or may not stay in that position. I am not sure. And what else have we done? Notice hammer. I, that's my father's hammer that I've hung on to all these years and probably will use it tomorrow sometime. And what I've done is I've just put these 10 inch blocks underneath to stabilize it. Very stable. Uh, can't, it won't move. Uh, actually, I've got it tied so it can't. And over here, I got to do a little more leveling on this side. And the reason I put that shelf like I did, as you can see, it just kind of runs along there and then lays on top of where the bed will be. Uh, the reason I did that, I could, that, that allowed me, I could, it allowed me to adjust it. In other words, if I decide I want a bigger table, then I can move it out a little bit. If I decide I want a smaller table, then I can move it back in. So I'm not sure what size table I want yet. Because over here, this is going to be dirty clothes, probably, and other stuff. And then behind the refrigerator, if it stays in this position, I'm going to get uh, e either get one of those little, uh, it's just a little uh, storage device. Uh, I may use my old kitchen, I'm not sure, and put clothes in it right here. And then, of course, there is an organizer right there for all the little stuff and a road atlas that beats the hell out of Google because I can sit there and on my bed and study maps all across you know I can see the whole US okay real easily but anyway I went with a 10 inch height for a reason what was that reason Rusty well because when I sit down on it here assuming that my assumption assuming that my four inch trifold memory foam mattress was on this thing it would be a nice comfortable sitting height because my head does not touch the ceiling at that height okay also i've added so i've added about four inches more headroom by doing it this way instead of using the cot 
And for those of you who want to know what, that's a Dometic CF18 12 volt compressor refrigerator that works like a dream. And it runs off of my battery, which is charged by the solar. And that's that. But the good news is the project is underway. And uh, I don't know that I'll be leaving real soon. Depends on what I can find in the way of good weather. So we'll see. But I did want to give you guys a heads up. And as I get out of here, it, it's too damn hot to be working in here, okay? Even though I've got the fan on, which is helps, uh, it's just hot. I mean, you know, I don't want to have one of them hot strokes or whatever they call it, heat strokes. So let me climb out here. You're going to get a good picture while I climb out of nothing. You're going to see dirt and probably the sky as I fall out on my head. But here I go. Ah, I did it. See, when you're my age, you got to practice your groaning. You know what I mean? You got to, you got to be a good groaner. But that's the beginning. Okay, that's the seed. Now this piece right here, this is just left over. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, if anything. But as you can see, there's room here for putting my shoes, which I thought would be nice. Should set my shoes right here, and then this thing, you can just turn it around and pull it right out. Even if it had stuff in it, you could still do that. All right, is that handy? I don't know if I need to do that or not. But if I do, I can. And so I'm gonna go with two drawers, which will carry everything I need. And as far as extra clothing, it's going to fit either right behind that refrigerator or I might hang some stuff up, but it ain't going to be much anyway, so I am not worried about it. And so, there's my Coleman propane, or what do they call it? Uh, it's a mixture of butane and pro propane. But anyway, it works. It works. It heats water, and one of those things, I, I don't know how long they last. I've had those. I went, when I went out to Quartzsite in January, I had one of those, and they still have stuff in them. So, for all of you that are carpenters right now, you probably uh, you probably cracked your ribs, which is fine for, from laughter. But for me, this is a, I have done extremely well because I still have some blocks left over, and we'll probably figure out some place to stick those at some future date. And I don't mean to stick them where y'all think I'm going to stick them because I'm not going to do that. Okay, but there it is, guys. The the new remodeled White House in all its radiating glory. I mean, I may change a few things, because see that refrigerator right there can go all the way in that back corner. I've designed it so it could do that. The only downside of that is if I do that, then anything I want to do with extra clothes and stuff would be pretty much limited. And so, but we can always change it on the road. That's not a big deal. So I haven't driven any nails yet because I wanted to look at it and think about it overnight. And uh, also, I don't want to work on it anymore because it's too damn hot. So having said that, guys, from the White House in Central Texas, USA, the camper build or the camper top build is underway. The project may take one more day, and I believe that's going to finish it out. And then where am I going to go? I don't know. It's too hot. But if I find a cool spot that I can get to in a reasonable amount of time, I may take a shot at it. So anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, bye USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water, particularly on a day like this. Three or four quarts will not hurt you. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth several times a day. Why? It relieves stress. Relieving stress will lower your blood pressure and keep you alive a little longer. But anyway, having said all that, stretch, walk, do all those good things to keep your health because hopefully I can get this thing squared away tomorrow or for sure the next day and we'll be, this thing will be good to go. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work. I got to put the bed on and try it out. And I've got some things I need to do, like right here. I, the guy pointed this out. He said you need to round these corners, which is true. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a rubber pad on that. And right up here, these things right here, those would cut the crap out of you during the night if you accidentally bumped them with your knee or whatever. So I'm going to cover those too so that I don't do that. Okay? Very smart, huh? But anyway, anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye.